Hey gang, so today's another sponsored video by Fidget Boy. And today Jason has sent something that has ticked me off. Why? Because this amazing fidget is not made of metal yet. This is the Queen Pong Boy in resin and composite stainless steel. This, I, I don't know what he's done. I don't know how he's figured this out, but ergonomically, this is the best thing I've ever held. This is fantastic. I want this in metal, Jason. This needs to be in metal. Release, Release the, metal. the metal. It's the Queen Pong Boy. Let's go. Okay, so the Queen Pong Boy. This is resin and a stainless steel composite for the plates and the sides here. And I gotta say, this is one of the finest uh, ergonomic shapes that I have uh, I have ever held. There is something amazing about how this feels. Your thumb just, the, the grooves for the thumb, like, okay, let, let's back up for a second. Some fidgets sometimes just feel good holding. This is one of those. This is almost like a worry stone. It's got the it's got the right size to be like a rock, a smooth rock. It's got this really nice little hump here, and it's got the little balls to give you extra grip. So the, the you know the laddering, everything about it is um, the same, right? This this is this is the the same as um, all the other fidget boy stuff. As Jason kind of keeps um, creating kind of his plates and he refines his plates, they just keep getting better and better. So if you've used any sort of recent Fidget Boy, it's not like one outperforms the other. They're all the same uh, in terms of how they work, but the difference of course is the, the feel, the top feel and stuff. So this one ergonomically is fantastic. So this is just one of these fidgets that feels so good to play with. The Everything is kind of in the right shape. Um, now, unlike the Boo-Boo the Boy, instead of the hump being on the outer sides, it's right in the middle, which also gives you uh, a good pushing surface. There's, I don't know what it is. There's something about this though that um, just feels really, really good in the hand. And maybe it's the resin. Um, the indents work great, the resin is great, this just feels good to hold. And we've got our little pong balls here. Um, this is, now, is this glow in the dark? Let's see, let's charge these up if they are. Nope. I thought these might have been glow in the dark. They are not. So yeah, this thing is, um, I would love, love, love to see this in a metal. Uh, for one, because it's nice and thick and you don't see a lot of thick sliders out there, but the ergonomics on this, I would really, really hope that it would um, really kind of transfer well over to metal. This is a pusher. The fact that you have this hump on this side, on both sides, and these grooves means you can pull from one side and push from the other. So your fingers, have this natural ledge they walk in, they lock into, I should say. So it really lets you get an extra strong grip. Like I tend to sort of take the top of my finger and hold it in that top, in that sort of like the top indent and then push with my thumb here. So I don't know how this feels on sort of like a, a regular 3D printed fidget boy out of, out of the stuff Jason normally uses, but I know with the resin, this is, this feels fantastic. It j just a great, great feel to it. I would love to see all um, of, of his things made out of resin moving forward. It's just obviously you can't, um, I'm, I'm guessing you don't have the same color options with resin, but man, what a great material. Um, this thing just feels Fantastic. So, yeah, so good. I gotta stop playing with it. I'm gonna end this review because I'm just gonna keep playing with this. Uh, but I would love to see this in metal. If this were if this were to be the next Fidget Boy metal, this would be awesome. All right, gang. Thanks for watching.